Good. Swabbing for COVID-19 on enlistment day and pre-enlistment vaccinations. Wiping down shared equipment. Taking the oath of allegiance in front of cameras. These are some of the measures the Singapore Armed Forces has taken to keep new recruits safe as it soldiers on towards a new normal with COVID-19. The new batch of enlistees reporting to Salaran Camp for their first day of basic military training on Tuesday, June 29th, were offered their first dose of the COVID-19 vaccine before stepping foot onto Pulau Tekong. They are the first group of recruits to be provided this option. Going forward in the endemic COVID-19, uh, the SCF strategies of uh, vaccination, strengthened testing and surveillance, and cohorting will be integral to ensure that our servicemen can continue to train safely. For the vaccination, uh, everyone knows that it's actually a voluntary. Okay, but uh, what we have done is uh, we have a scheduled uh, engagement session uh, up front, right before the vaccination, so that we can engage the pre enlistees and also their parents accordingly. One of the school commanding officers and also uh, there will be a medical officer on site so that uh, they can answer all the questions. This will allay the concerns from the parents and also pre enlistees. And that's why I'm glad to say that uh, we have achieved over 90% of the first dose of vaccination. Ahead of SAF Day on July 1st, Defence Minister Ng Eng Hen said the SAF is on course to achieve herd immunity by the second week of July. 92% of SAF and Ministry of Defence personnel will have received their second doses by then. Among newer measures to ensure a safer training environment for enlistees during BMT, the SAF has also introduced sanitization drills for shared equipment like marksmanship simulators and rostered routine testing for trainers who interact with different groups of recruits. This is on top of existing ones, such as placing recruits on stay-home restriction orders when they book out, that was implemented during Phase 2 heightened alert in May. Okay, in between, uh, generally, uh, we won't uh, have any additional measures for them. They can go about their business, whether resting or uh, uh, de-stressing. Okay? Uh, if they need to go out for essential trips, they just have to call or message their commanders such that they're going out to buy food or any uh, uh, essential duties that they need to do so. So generally, we don't disturb them other than the morning and the evening. And since July last year, wastewater surveillance has been conducted four times a week to detect viral fragments. Suspected COVID-19 cases are brought to the medical centre, isolated, swabbed and sent home to wait for more instructions. Going forward, endemic world, we are prepared uh, in case uh, there's any suspected case. We are able to swiftly uh, detect the case and also have our own measures in place uh, in case they are, uh, so that we can keep the, the numbers small and we can continue training in the endemic uh, COVID-19.